Having grown up in Durban, I love bunny cha, and it's a perfect meal to share with your friends after a tiring surf. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Kitchen Cruiser. I've just come from a surf, and I'll be making my friends a Durban bunny cha. I've chosen to make my bunny cha outside, but you can as easily make it inside. First up, slicing your onion. Now you can slice your onion up, or you can dice it, it's all up to you. My pot's already on the fire, a couple of splashes of oil. Onions in. Get it man. The fire's still a little bit too hot. There's a fun tip, just add a splash of water, and now you can slowly braise your onions. I'm using a very convenient cook's edition, crushed ginger and garlic. Let these flavors come together. Remember, you're slowly braising. I'm now gonna add my whole spices, curry leaves, cumin seeds, some soy anise, some cinnamon, followed by my ground spices. Fennel, garam masala, turmeric, coriander. Give it a nice stir. A nice time for your tomatoes. A nice time for your meat. Give it a quick stir. Now it's time for my potatoes to go in. Close my lid of the pot. And also, because I'm cooking it outside, it's important to close the Weber lid as well to create that oven light system. Simmer your curry for two hours. It gives me enough time to have a beer with my friends. It's time for me to check my curry. Oh, beautiful. I think it's time for me to stuff my bunny chop. Take your loaf of bread. I've got three friends over, so I'm gonna cut it in thirds. Follow up the center. Obviously leaving a barrier on each side. A nice time for the stuffing. Just a nice curry sauce. A little bit of flavor right at the end. Some coriander. Don't throw away your lid. Number one. Sweet. That's served. Guys, tuck in. This looks amazing. Hey, for a win. Now that's the traditional version of the Durban Bunny Cha. Catch the next episode of Kitchen Cosa next week.